Welcome back guys. So today I have got an extremely cool little vanish you can do um, and there is no setup required however it is a little bit hard to do and you've got to be careful where you do it but it's really cool, it's super visual and it looks like you've done nothing at all. So let's learn it. So I have just had these arrive, the verts of course the 2017 deck even though it's now 2018 but how good do they look but they are proper nice so that is what I'm gonna be using for today's trick but you can use any old deck doesn't matter at all so first of all you can only perform this if you've got a table around you and your hands need to be very close to the edge of the table that's one of the secrets behind this trick so the main mechanics behind this trick and vanish is that your thumb is going to grab the bottom right of the card and basically fling it over the table. However, it can be done, but a lot harder, a lot slower by bringing that card back to the bottom of the deck. Obviously, I'm not as good as that, as you can see, but a lot of cardists, which know how to that's a very popular move in cardistry, know how to bring that card to the bottom very easily. I'm no expert at that, so I'm not gonna be teaching that kind of version. So that's the main mechanics of the grip. So you're gonna to need to learn how to bring that thumb and just grab one card at a time. It's very simple. You are just grabbing that bottom right-hand corner and sliding it along onto that position. And it doesn't really matter what speed and whatnot for mine because you are just ditching it over there. So obviously the secret to this trick is to make sure that this has looks like or appears that it hasn't moved at all. So you are blocking the spectator's view or the camera for this instance. That's that. I'm not going to do this live probably because unless you could do it live if you had like a hat, you were blocking it with the hat. You need something bigger than just your hand because that's not going to cover the spectator's view. It can be done, you could have a piece of silk, wave it over, next thing you know it's gone, changed, do whatever. This is just for camera purpose, this version I'm going to teach you where you're just blocking it with your hand, the camera, whilst you do the change. So in the motion of your hand blocking that camera, as soon as it blocks the camera you're going to move your thumb, perform the move and make sure your thumb goes back into the same position. That's the whole idea behind this trick, that the thumb never moves, it looks exactly the same. These fingers all stay the same as well. There's no wrist movement or anything. So obviously, like this, you can see the thumb already, so it kind of gives away. You need to make sure you're blocking the thumb, and then as you've done that, you're moving, you need to make sure you're blocking the whole card, you can then ditch it, whatever. Be careful of the angles where it's falling and everything. So it's really being able to control your right hand or whichever hand you're using to block to make sure that you don't flash at all. So for the grip to help you, this is just what helps me, whether it's because I've got smaller hands or not, I'm not sure. Just play around with different grips, different positions to see what feels better. But for me, I like to play some quite high up in my hand so even the pinky isn't even on the deck it's quite high up and we've got quite a bit of a gap in here as well this just helps me feel that the cards are comfortable it makes me feel easier that I can drag that top card into the position I feel that if it's too low down like a mechanics grip or anything like that that my thumb is going to struggle a lot more to get that card into the position I want it to go but that could be just me because I've got small fingers as you can see my thumb is struggling to get anywhere near that bottom right corner so a little bit higher up obviously I could get to that right corner and drag the card so have a play around with it it's probably just me because of my small hands and how I adapt it I don't even know if this grip has a name it might do, if it does, let me know in the comments. And obviously, that move there. So it might take a bit of a while to build the thumb strength, not too long, but it's fairly easy to do. 
So as a Vanish, it is a little bit harder to do because you've only got the one card. You haven't got any support from the cards beneath to be able to do that move easier or even drag that card up. So this is just for me again, how I adapted it. I'm going to use the pinky to help push that card along and obviously drop it and then try to keep this same position here whilst covering it. So motion is just a little push with the pinky. That's why I have it in that deeper grip as well or higher up grip. I can now use a pinky whilst I'm trying to vanish and try maintain that whole hand position that it was in before whilst covering. So really simple vanish. It'll be, probably be easier with a hat or something covering it and it will look super cool as well. So that was a super quick way to vanish a card. Super easy, it's not gonna take long to do. I say it can be done live, but you're not gonna use your hand. You need silk, you need a hat, use whatever. Now, my, don't just use it as a color change or a vanish, you can just use it as a vanish. Um, there's so many options you can do with it. You can make a vanish and reappear in a completely different location with duplicate cards. Use whatever your mind can think of. And it is so, so cool, super visual, and I hope you enjoy it. So, I'll see you soon.